Ben Humphries. I'm the head of hospitality catering at, um, at Mailey Academy. I also work with uh, very closely and at sometimes Thomas Telford School as well. And I've been in this position for around about 17 years now. Um, I've came from uh, directly from industry after achieving my degree in hospitality management. Um, worked in several hotels in the local area, um, as well as some hotels abroad, including one uh, short stint out in Malta. So I've got quite a broad range of experience. So I'm just going to talk to you today about the course that we run at Maidley Academy um, and why you may choose to, you know, why you may choose to come here. Okay, um, so we basically teach one course. We, you know, quite, we're a small department. We're a small team. Um, I work uh, with two other colleagues in the delivery of the subject. And the real advantage of, of doing a course with us is, you know, if you want to mix the, uh, the course, you've got an interest in hospitality and catering or cooking, um, you're considering it as a career, but you want to mix it with other qualifications as well, because um, we run a subsidiary diploma, which is, um, you know, equivalent of 1A level at the end of the day. So you can mix it with the other subjects as well. Really keep your options open rather than sort of tying it all into one thing. So it's, it's great if you, you know, you've got that interest, you want to test the water, so to speak, and, and see if that's what, you know, if that's for you. So we run what we call the Substitute Diploma here, level three, um, equivalent, like I said, of a 1A level at the end. So all I'm gonna do is just go through the units that we do, how we go about them, um, and um, the sort of, you know, the assessment um, that, we, that we carry out, et cetera. So start with the top two units there, we've got the hospitality industry. Um, this is a core unit, so no choice, we've got to do it. We're gonna do a study in this of hospitality industry at large. Um, it's a lot on the news at the moment, as you realise, with the, all the, the pressures of the, of the, of the, the COVID epidemic. So um, you probably realise it's a major employer in, in the UK. Um, so, you know, it's really important that we study this and understand a little bit about it, its structure, its size, um, what, sort of, um, what sort of employment opportunities there are in there. Um, you know, just, just general good understanding of how you know, it fits into the country and the country's economy. So we look at that in quite some detail. And that's the first unit we study. And when you start with us in 6-1, year 12, that's the first thing you're going to look at. So you have a good overview and a good understanding of what the hospitality industry is about. I can help you make a decision whether, you know, it's for you as a future career. Okay, the second thing we look at, um, actually, we don't look at this in 6-1, in we look at it in 6-2, but I've just listed the orders out, the, sorry, the units out in order number. So we also look at customer service. We do that in the second year. Um, this is just an, uh, again, it's a core unit. So we're gonna look, we look in that unit, we look at sort of um, the key elements of customer service, how to deliver good customer service, examples of bad customer service, um, how we evaluate it, how we improve, et cetera, et cetera. And we apply it to live examples. We usually go out um, to different hospitality establishments and look at their customer service standards. We evaluate it. Um, we sort of discuss it amongst ourselves, give it a, and then, you know, sort of say, how could it be approved? How could it be developed? Um, and also it's a chance for you as well to, um, to sort of practice as well your skills as well. So we'll run several scenarios and you'll practice your customer service skills. Um, and if you look down at the bottom of the units that you do there on that slide, um, you see we do planning and managing an event as well. And very much your customer service skills that you learn in that unit will be applied in that event, which I'll talk about in a bit. Okay, so um, I try to apply as many practical units as we can because we have the two core units. So the first practical unit, which you will do in the uh, first year sixth form is European cuisine. Um, this unit, you will look at um, gaining an understanding of the different types of European cuisine. And you can pick, pick six countries for the basis of your study. And you look at the cuisine of that country, you learn a little bit about the history of it. And of course, importantly, um, you then sort of research some dishes and you practice some of these dishes that you want to learn, what you want to refine and you want to present. So the evaluate, sorry, the, um, the, the assessment of that particular unit is carried out in two ways. So we have the, um, the theory side, which is marked coursework, and then we do the assessed dishes, which you'll get to research, practice, and then we'll observe. Um, you cook in those dishes. Uh, give you feedback and we'll, gra we'll grade you pass some merit on that and you go away and then you evaluate those dishes and if you do a good evaluation you get distinction grade for that so that's basically how we assess, assess that one it's a really good unit um, everybody really enjoys it um, and it gives you a, you know if you've if you've come in with a bit of previous experience from um, you know from your previous school if you've done food tech or hospitality and catering in school before um, you might have some great ideas you might want to come up with and try out 
Um, it gives you a chance to push your skills a little bit higher than maybe that you've done in, um, in your secondary schools. So that unit's done in, uh, in the first year sixth form. Asian cuisine we do in the second year sixth form. And again, it involves um, looking at a range of different countries across Asia. Again, you pick the basis of your study, what you're going to look at. And again, we look at the history. We look at um, some of the, the commodities that are used and a little bit of understanding about the different ways and, you know, the fundamental differences between Asian cuisine and European cuisine. And, you know, this again, this is a really fun unit. Everybody really enjoys it. Um, a lot of people um, are big fans of Asian cuisine. It gives them a chance to practice this out. Um, and, you know, again, assessments exactly the same. The coursework for the, for the theory side of it. And again, practical assessment followed by um, uh, an evaluation to determine whether you get a merit or distinction grade. Um, next unit we do, alcohol and beverage service. We cover this in, in, um, in 6-1 in your first year. Um, in this unit, we learn all about the production of alcoholic beverages. We learn about you know, a little bit of the history of them. So for example, we'll look at France, um, look at the history of uh, you know, French winemaking and stuff like things like that. We look at matching um, drinks of food. So we get a chance to try a little bit of different drinks. So we'll get some wines and match them with different types of food. And then you draw up some evaluation with that. So you get understanding um, just basically where the role of, of alcohol fits into hospitality and catering in industry. And of course, you know, importantly, how we serve it correctly, the proper measures, how we do it, et cetera, et cetera. So basically, you know, if you, if you wanna, um, when you're old enough to go out and work in a bar environment, you're well equipped then to go out and, and get a job in that, in that area. Uh, the final unit there, which we do in the uh, second year, sixth form is planning and managing hospitality event. This is one of the, the favorite units that students do. It brings everything together they've learned through Asian cuisine, through European cuisine, um, and or everything they learned through all the units and gives them a chance to basically plan their own themed events. Now we do this in our own hospitality events room up in the school, okay, which is very close to the training kitchen up there in our, in our very, very modern and very spacious kitchen there. Um, and the students are, you know, the key word is there is managing that event. So they're expected to manage some of the younger students from the lower school in the production and the service of that food. So they've got to market the events, they have to sell the events to, to customers, get the customers in, and manage it on the night. So it's a high pressure unit. Um, they, you know, on the whole, very enjoyable unit, a lot of hard work, but at the end of the day, it is, uh, you know, it, students are generally very, very happy when they've done it and feel great sense of achievement. Okay, I should talk a bit about the assessment at the at, at, uh, of, the, of the course itself. At the, as we currently stand, the, uh, the assessment is all through coursework. So you see your core units there is, um, Assessed through, court, is assessed through coursework where we graded past merit distinction. Um, and the practical units are assessed through, uh, through observation. Um, and basically we observe your skills, give your feedback, verbal and written, and then you go away and evaluate it and include that in your coursework. So that's, um, that's how we assess. So there's no formal exams in this course. Entry requirements, we're looking at six GCSEs including maths and English, four and above. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking for. Great if you've got a food tech qualification or if you have a, um, or if you have a hospitality and catering level two, that's brilliant. That's gonna bring you in with an advantage with some good ideas, but the course is open to anybody who's not had a chance to study this particular subject in the school, but they've got possibly an interest in going and working within the industry. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about now is a little bit about progression and, you know, where you can go with this after the course, after you've completed the course. Um, a lot of my students have gone to university, um, sometimes to study other subjects as well. And, you know, because at the end of the day, the course is worth UCAS points, as is shown on the slide there. Um, so a lot of students have gone on, perhaps to another course, but a lot have gone on to do hospitality management, events management, um, you know, things related in, in that sort of area. And many students have gone on um, to be you know, quite successful in the industry themselves. Um, one of my former students, um, the last time I checked in on, on him was the, um, was the events manager at um, the events manager at Edgebaston Cricket Ground, for example. Um, I taught him about eight, 10 years ago. So he's progressed up really well. Um, so 
wide range of various jobs. Some have gone on to reception, become reception managers, um, once they've gone through university. So all sorts of, um, all sorts of, all sorts of uh, progression from universities has occurred. Not yet had me had a general manager yet, but probably got not quite enough time. Um, so other opportunities that we can, uh, you know, so after you finish the course, you can go on to perhaps be working the kitchens, apprentice chef. It's going to give you enough kind of knowledge, enough kind of background in that particular area um, to give you enough to get you onto, you know, the starter rung, a, a, a commie chef or a, an apprentice chef or something like that in a modern apprenticeship. Um, a lot of my um, uh, former students are going to become trainee managers, particularly in local hotels. So they'd start off at the kind of the lower end um, and going through the departments and then moving up and then onto departmental managers. So a lot of moves up relatively quickly and they've got a few former students who've done that. Um, other jobs would include bar supervisor. Um, could also go on after you finish to something like the armed forces. So there's, um, for example, the Royal Logistics Corps or the, um, or the RAF or the Navy um, uh, will, you know, certainly experience, uh, certainly appreciate experience and the knowledge of some of our students um, and what you've got from this course. Um, other job roles could include, you go straight from this course um, onto something like restaurant supervisor, conference and banqueting supervisor, um, or hospitality and events supervisor. So events is a, is a big, big, um, big deal at the moment. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of my students come into me and they're really, really interested in the events management side of things. And I said, yeah, it's great, but you need to get as much experience as you can working, you know, within hotels, perhaps in the conference and events. Um, area and getting you know getting as much knowledge as you can to go into events management so um, just you know about the course the course gives you the, the knowledge it gives you the background knowledge it gives you the foundations to work on and then you know you get the experience from then on okay um, trips we do try we have uh, visit a few we have um, completed a few trips throughout the course um, we try to go to the good food shops so you know it's been a bit suspended this year with all the problems but we'd normally go to the Good Food Show, for example. We'd go and visit local hotels. Um, in uh, previous years, but obviously we can't do it this year, we've gone down to Essex and we've gone to the uh, Edge Hotel School, who we've had a link with for some years. Um, so, you know, that's this qualification from, from this school. It's been a springboard into that. Um, it's it's a, um, a hotel school down as part of the University of Essex. And students have gone straight from here into there um, done a degree in hospitality management or similar um, and that qualifies them obviously to start up um, in quite a relatively high position if they choose to uh, work in the hospitality industry and that's been you know kind of their focus so we've had two or three trips down to there we were very much involved in um, in the opening of that establishment and we have got we've established some quite good links there and um, you know it's it's uh, again it gives a, it's, it's a good um, progression point for any of our students that um, that that, uh, that finish with us here. Um, other universities we've sent students to, of course, we sent them to, to Birmingham College of what was College of Food, um, uh, Manchester as well. So the students go to there. Um, all done quite well. Um, and most of them have decided to you know carry on and currently work in the industry. So you know, so I'm just going to recap now because I realise my time's coming to an end. Um, so you know, I think. The main difference between us and perhaps going to the colleges is, you know, we, you know, we're offering, you know, one A level equivalent. So, you know, this will run alongside with your other A levels uh, or your other B techs or whatever you choose to do. So, you know, I'm kind of looking for people who, you know, they may not necessarily be 100% committed to hospitality and catering career, but, you know, they really perhaps want to mix in with other subjects, get a taste of it and see what they think and what they feel. Okay. Facilities wise, we've got quite good facilities. We're not a college, but we've got quite good facilities for a school. We've got a state-of-the-art training kitchen. Um, we've got a good events room with a, a bar area there. We're not a, you know, we're not a catering college, but we do provide, you know, we do good facilities, provide good facilities for, you know, for a school. And, you know, like I said. Okay, that um, pretty much finishes everything I need to say. So any questions you may have, um, if you just contact me directly, and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay.